Hello everyone. Today I am going to take up the topic what is competency based education. So let us start the session. Competency based education. Competency based education, uh, we call it as CBE in short, is an approach towards first teaching, learning and assessment. So one of the basic fundamentals of this approach uh, known as CBE is that it should be related to real world uh, context situations and should fully cover topics that are related to employment and daily life. It gives paramount importance to the students progress through the curriculum at their own pace. Now teaching and learning. A core principle of CBE that is competency based education uh, is that it focuses on student centered learning and it lays significance on the teaching empowering the students to learn actively supported by feedback it is very similar to mastery based learning now the assessment assessment uh, is the application of knowledge and skills to real world situation context and using authentic problems which draw on real life data are key features of cb assessment system now we'll see in detail uh, competency based education and the definition competency can be defined as an individual capability of performing a task successfully in professional educational and other life context by using first knowledge skills and abilities so these are the very important co comp uh, component of uh, a part of competency now we'll see one by one so st we'll start with knowledge knowledge is the conceptual and theoretical understanding of the subject it is a visible characteristic that can be easily developed through a good competency based education next skills skill is a measurable and observable proficiency or experience that is learned through training or experience it is also a visible characteristic that can be easily developed through a uh, good competency based education. And the last one is abilities. And ability is the vast underlying capacity or talent uh, that is essential to learn and apply knowledge and skills. It is a hidden characteristic we are naturally capable to learn which develops even without formal instruction. Suppose uh, a child, uh, we are teaching um, the sum of uh, uh, angle sum property of triangle. So if the student is know about that, so, uh, that will come under knowledge. And if student uh, understand how to uh, means use that theorem, the sum, angle sum property that comes under skills, understanding and the ability when the student are applying the um, that uh, angle sum property in different types of questions. So uh, this is one example like that many examples are there. Now we are moving towards five points definition of competency based education. So we'll see one by one. So the first one is uh, in the year 2011 a group of 100 experts and educators came together uh, for the first time and agreed upon five point working definition of competency based education. The first one is demonstrated mastery. So according to them, uh, CBE is also known as mastery or proficiency based education. And it is a high quality education system in which students are engaged and motivated by educator or teacher uh, to advance upon demonstrated mastery. And the second one is well-defined competencies and learning outcomes, measurable, transferable, and well-defined competencies and learning outcomes are articulated to empower students. Now the third one is meaningful assessments and a positive learning experience. Assessment of competencies and content or concept of uh, uh, knowledge, concept or knowledge is meaningful and a positive learning experience for all the students. And the next one is differentiated support based on individual learning needs. Students receive timely differentiated support based on their individual learning needs. Suppose if a particular student is not able to understand, 
so uh, teacher will help uh, the particular students to uh, mastery on that particular topic right the next one is application of competencies and creation of knowledge skills and dispositions so learning outcomes emphasize competencies that includes application analysis evaluation of competencies and content and creation of knowledge along with the development of important skills and dispositions in other words competency based education creates a system of continuous improvement that fosters deeper learning of students at their own pace now we are going to see the six principles of competency based education so let us start with the first one <clears throat> which is very important equity is set before all else so equity uh, does not means uh, giving each student the same thing as everyone else instead uh, it means uh, give uh, giving each student what they actually need to reach the uh, same goal right and this is the main principle of competency based education because it purposefully seeks to understand and remove bias in school leaderships students are taught and supported based uh, on uh, their personal strengths and weaknesses uh, giving each individual the same chances for success thus the predictability of achievement based on culture uh, social class household income or language is completely removed so now the next is classes emphasize measurable competencies that help build skills for life so competencies must be defined in advance and set as learning objectives for each student rather than just uh, uh, testing for head knowledge competencies focus on uh, the practical understanding that a student uh, has of the subject so these competencies can be based on first understanding of key concepts ability to apply knowledge to meaningful problems mastery of relevant skills now we are moving toward the third principle transparency helps students take ownership so the learning objective that are set for the class and the school as a whole should be clear to both students and parents in a competency based education system students understand these three things when starting the class first what they need to learn and the second how mastery is defined in that particular topic how they will assist so when each student has the end goal clear in mind they will take more responsibility for their own education uh, for example uh, a student understand that uh, he needs to take his uh, uh, understanding of math and apply it by uh, completing the project of designing a small garden he needs to use math skills to measure the uh, size of the area and determine how many plants will fit if the students clearly understand what he needs to do in order to uh, be proficient and move forward in class in the class he will take more ownership uh, over his education then when he sits a snag in the project or lacks the knowledge uh, to finish it properly he will he will realize on his own that he needs some help so transparent goals and outcomes thus help students take responsibility for their learning path this ownership in turn helps students help students become better learners now and into adulthood so uh, now we are moving toward the fourth one students get the support they need individually so uh, one example suppose uh, we have seen for the for our example above the before one uh, the garden one let's say the students uh, has a problem with uh, his garden project and comes to the conclusion that he needs some help so this is where the teacher availability comes into the picture in a competency based education environment the students uh, students should have a framework to understand how long they should work 
on a particular problem before asking for help and when in the class time they can approach the teacher. So competency based education works through bias and produces equity as we discussed in the first point. So as teachers work with students through their different weaknesses and help them draw on their strengths, each student is moved forward towards mastery on a unique but equally effective path. This personalized learning experience gives each student an equal opportunity for success. For this process to work smoothly, the teacher must be available to help students. Also, they can uh, just rely on students asking for help. Teacher needs to be fully aware of each student's progress. Now, coming to the next uh, uh, topic, teachers assess for growth and mastery. So uh, that uh, then here the assessment comes in the picture. There are very, uh, many assessment through the teacher assess for the growth and mastery. So uh, in particularly we have two types of assessment. One is formative assessment. Primarily they are a formative assessment which are designed to help students understand how well they are performing in the subject and to help teachers identify individual students strengths and weaknesses. And they also allow teachers to identify areas where whole classes are strong and weak in order to help them build on these strengths and design different teaching approaches to address the weaknesses. Uh, for example, a teacher may ask students to submit a video essay. I'm taking a general uh, example, video essay or uh, create a digital uh, portfolio that can be shared online. So these type of assessments allow students to demonstrate uh, their understanding on the subject, which is the basis of competency based learning. So then the teacher can adjust the next lesson accordingly or plan one by one uh, time with students uh, who showed less understanding of the subject. Now the next assessment, summative assessment. They show how well students have mastered the learning outcome set out in the NCRT curriculum and the content of the CBSE syllabus. They allowed teachers to compare students' performance based on the summative assessment and to report this to the students to give them an indication of the progress they have made against their peers. So now we are moving toward the sixth, the last principle. Students move forward when they demonstrate mastery. By including regular assessment and data-based progress reporting, teachers understand where each individual student is in the learning process. When students demonstrate a clear understanding of the topic, prove their ability to apply that understanding and show how they have developed important skills, it's time for them to move forward. So these are the uh, six principles of competency-based education. Now we are moving toward the six components of uh, competency-based education. So let us start with the first one, clearly defined learning outcomes. So competency-based education has clearly defined learning outcomes in terms of what knowledge and skills will be acquired by the students. And the second one, flexibility of time frame. It gives flexibility of time frame to students to achieve learning outcomes at their own pace. And the third one is multiple pedagogies. It uses multiple pedagogies and classroom activities that form uh, the basis of learning. For example, in schools, uh, school practicing competency based education system, the focus is, to, uh, is on creating learner-centered cl classrooms that support multiple uh, modes of learning flexible students uh, groupings and uh, responsive facilitation based on students' needs, interests and strengths. And the next one is variety of engaging content. It ensures uh, availability of a variety of engaging content for both teachers and the students. For example, in CBE classrooms, Learning units are designed uh, around an inquiry driven problem based learning cycle. Next, uh, criterion reference testing. 
it uses uh, assessment of learning outcomes through criterion uh, reference testing and the last one is demonstrated learning outcomes it certifies level of learning based on demonstrated learning outcomes so these are the uh, six components of competency based education now we are moving towards the impact of competency based education on learning so the first impact of competency based education on learnings clearly communicates expectations to students thus they own and participate in the learning process and the second it enhances teacher learner interaction the third one it uses creative and learner centric methods and techniques to enhance students learning and the next one is offers it offers flexibility to adopt a variety of strategies based on different types of learning styles of students and it assesses students on areas that they understand prefer and are interested in and the last one it focuses on quality of learning rather than volume so these are a few impacts on competency based education on learning so we have seen the uh, definition of competency based education six principles six components and the impact of competency based education on learning i hope uh, uh, that uh, the topics are uh, clear to all of you so uh, that's all for today's session thank you thank you very much